Hey, weirders. It's the Destination Nightmare movie. Fiendish films for Saturday nights. Monsters, science fiction, and occasional terror. And now, here's tonight's movie. <laughs>
so. I, if it wasn't, I wouldn't be able to... You know, I told you to grab my medical bag. Well, I had it, Doc, but it slipped away. I had Melvin by the yeah. tail. Well, I guess we all panicked a little bit. All right, don't use it for a while, but try to keep it working. Hey, uh, Doc? You know, if we can find some dry wood, we can light a fire. Or maybe we can build a raft. Yeah. How are we going to make it over these bluffs, huh? Plenty of wood for a raft here. Yeah. yeah, dead trees are buoyant too. This reminds me of Quail Gardens in Philly. Oh! Oh! What's the matter? Hey! Oh, my arm! Oh, okay. Holy cow, look at this. Uh, 
we uh, we crashed in a, in a balloon, you know, over the ocean. You know, a balloon? Well, we were blown off course, actually, and uh, well, we were miles out there, and uh, wh where are we? You are pretty. Oh. <laughs> well, my name is Curtis, and uh, this is Paul Hadley. Uh, and this is Mark, and... Um, well, that's Dino. Paul Hadley, uh, he call him Doc because he's, you know, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, um, you know uh, <laughs> Come with us. Uh, what about your friend there? Come with us. They're ready to feed us.
Oh, uh, punishment's over, huh? Not punishment, initiation. Initiation? I was initiated one time into the Greyhound Lodge during one of the worst tornadoes at Kansas City. Oh, 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 Falling behind. Let him go. Hey, what happened? Just another attempt by Zyred to take one of us off. Zyred? He tries this often, but he's programmed to weaken. But, but who is he? Part of a ship's crew. Normal until they experimented on him. Until they experimented? <laughs> Kid has got a little problem, huh? <laughs> I've warned you before. You're going to be very sorry if you don't stop this. Hey, hey, now, you just take it easy. We ain't responsible for every little thing that happens to you. Oh, no. You should be thankful for the mirrors we brought. Yeah. I'll be thankful, and you be careful. <laughs> I suggest we get on our horses and get out of here right now. Uh, well, there's no question they're deep into witchcraft. So that might throw your travel plans into reverse. Oh, hey, they like us. They're not gonna... Hey, look, I don't want to press it. They didn't seem to care in the least about the phenomena with your arm. Oh, I got that figured. It is when you make the particular place, not here, but on the outside rule, that's when the power hits you. The power? Yeah, it's sort of, it's sort of built in. It's like telepathy. Telepathy? No, no, no. It is like telepathy. What are you talking about? Come on, come on. I'm going to show you. How's it going? Oh, pretty good, Kirk. Did Dean ever tell you about his football days? Football? 
Like the time he scored three touchdowns against Miami. Here, let me help you. Come here. Stand up. Oh, well, yeah. Come here. Oh. So watch what you say. If I can't ask him about the... What can I ask about? <laughs> Anything you want. <laughs> we got no secrets here. We got no secrets here, have we? I think you'll find just the opposite if you come with us. Come where? Not far. Where the valleys rise to the sun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> possibly be getting whooping cough. Droids don't get diseases like whooping cough or measles or polio. But children do. If a young child gets whooping cough, it can lead to pneumonia, brain damage, even death. All you need is a little rewiring, but children need to be fully immunized. And alas, so many are not. All right, R2, I'll ask them. Parents of Earth, are your children fully immunized against childhood diseases? Call your doctor or local health department and find out. Immunize your children, please. And may the force be with you. Send for the Parent's Guide to Childhood Immunization. It's yours free. Write Immunization, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. <laughs> curious or confused, get information or a pamphlet at most pharmacies or a health clinic. If you need help, see a doctor. You'll not be going there. Not yet. I'll make some arrangements, get you an invitation up to the house. Invitation? May take a while, may not. Crazy enough to eat this? That's probably all right. 
the other tray. Hello. Who are you? I'd like to ask the same thing. We're about as startled as you are. How did you get here? But we we're ballooning. We're trying to break a long distance record. We came from... No! Don't say where. Shh. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we know about that. We took us a while, but we, uh, we found out. I, my name is, uh, Jason. I'm Clay Jason. Would you like some? I, I, uh, I come from, it doesn't matter where I come from. How long have you been here? How long? Yeah. Have I been here? How long? Uh, how long? Um, hmm. I, yes, hmm, uh, 70. This, this is the 17th year. 17th year? I was a, a captain, schooner. There's a storm, the biggest storm I ever saw, with huge waves and flung everybody overboard. And I, I clung, I clung to a reef. They were all gone. All the others, all gone. You were. Uh... You've been alone here for 17 years? They're all gone. And in the deafening roar in monstrous surf, I saw Lenore, my wife. Lenore, Mr. Poe, Mr. Edgar Allan Poe, had me in mind. Do you believe that? Why are you in this cell? What, what have you done? What have I done? What did I do? Yeah. Here, I'll show you. Look. No! No! It's too hideous. I, I have given red corpuscles enough to fill a frigate. And they, they keep me alive. So the supply will never drop off. Do you understand? You're a, you're a donor? Yes, a good one, donor, yes. It's something like that. I don't know who we're going to run into or how many they're going to be, but I don't want to end up in a cell. Do you know where I can find a gun or I can steal one? <laughs> with him. 
Our request for your invitation has been granted. My best brandy, the oldest in stock. I'm Sheila Frankenstein. How do you do? Actually, it's Von Helsing. I don't prefer my married name. I'm Dr. Hadley. This is Kurt Ryan and Dino, Mark Eaton. Keep this away from Jocko. He wouldn't appreciate it. Jocko won't seek the brandy. Not when there's rum around. That's quite a famous name you have. Oh, it has my deepest reverence. Hmm. Is there any uh, relationship between you and... Uh... Oh, yes. Dr. Frankenstein. My great-great-grandfather. He originated everything on the island. Including that power which paralyzes the arm. Frankenstein set many forces in action. And in doing so, created his own law. He still enforces it by channeling through my husband. Your husband? Please understand that everything is open here. There's nothing I wish in any way to be hidden. So I'll be boldly specific. My husband was an integral part of the Frankenstein experiments. In the early days, the two of them traveled far beyond man's understanding of life and death. So very far that an unbreakable bond was formed between them. It endures today, with one dead and the other alive. Through their communication, Dr. Frankenstein still controls this island. He's pretty happy about you fellows. Even though he's uh, dead. Being dead's no problem. It's just the opposite. What do you think was pulling you here? Your own free will? Hey, uh... Remember my mentioning to you when the balloon was twisting? The wind was bringing on a, a different effect. Yeah, it seemed like we were caught in some kind of power. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, your rival is an omen. Yes, an omen. The girls like you, and that demands your helping them. You want us help the girls? Perhaps some of you can serve to impregnate them in order to ensure future generations. <laughs> we have accommodations, facilities, a social life. And you fellows have stepped right inside of it. Yes, well, uh, <clears throat> I think we'd better uh, get back on the track of finding some kind of transportation. I don't mean to seem ungrateful, but uh, we'd better get on with what we have to do. I'm afraid that any such action is entirely in the hands of my husband. Where is he? You'll see him. Our guests will need a good night's sleep. Unlock the rooms by the lab. Yes, of course. Aside. Aside. Your presence doesn't bother this one. He's balanced quite well. They're all programmed to be perfect guards, but some are unpredictable. What's happened to them? They've gone through some elaborate changes. Caused by what? The quest of science. If they're unpredictable, uh, couldn't that lead to violence? Sometimes beyond tolerance. 
In such cases, a gun is useless because they have no bloodstream. They have to be literally cut in half with a machine gun. They do fine, except for the eyes. They've been using a local narcotic, which causes optic problems. They've become severely sensitive to light. Try it. You'll be in for a surprise. Uh, I can't believe the reading on this meter. Our best researchers haven't dreamt of anything even close to this. How did you work it out? Well, I didn't. This island was originally chosen, not simply because of its barrier bluffs, but because it was once a landing site for men and women of a superior civilization. Nice little item. <laughs> A brain? Uh, are you saying that aliens landed here some time ago? Yeah, aliens. That explains it about the girls. The girls are direct descendants. Although their blood is mixed with that of our own people. And some are more than one side or the other. My husband has been bedridden for a long time. This is my husband, Dr. Von Helsing, the assistant to Frankenstein.
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> cow. They're the most beautiful vegetables I've ever seen. Well, part of it's in the original soil. But mostly it's due to the nutrient compound. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Growth is so rapid, we have to filter the sun. Really? Wow. Oh. Well, I'll uh, I'll let you show yourselves around now. I'm due at the lab. I'll be integrating some unusual blood types, if you care to observe. Uh, well, yes, I'd, I'd like to very much. I think uh, perhaps later on, if it's all right. Well, if you like sports, they're over there. Oh, sports? <laughs> Up, sport! Come on, mate. We go to the sport. How'd you lose the eye? How'd I lose me eye? Yeah, how'd you lose your eye? How did I lose me eye? This is all they left of it, neighbor. Get out of my way, mate. Jason. O oh, Guy de Vere, hast thou no tear? Weep now, for never more. See on yon drear and rigid beer. Low lies my love, Lenore. Jason? How do you feel, Jason? Oh, yes. Let the burial rites be read, a funeral song be sung, a dirge for her. 
the doubly dead in the, in that she died so young so young uh, hey Jason so Jason so young hey Jason don't you remember us we want to help you Jason do you feel numbness anywhere unless she died so young look you know, I think the best bet is to find out what the drug is if she'll tell me that I might be able to find what I need in the lab yeah and we better start building that raft Hey, Melvin, been behaving yourself? You been giving you much trouble? None at all. I really appreciate you. I mean, you've really been a big help. I love him. <laughs> hey, Dino, well, <laughs> we're gonna check out the cave openings. You, uh, check out the peaks, okay? Can you put Melvin inside for a while? Sure. You can come down to the ocean with me. Help me collect some driftwood. Good. Good. Exceptionally strong. I don't dare hope that it will remain that way. Dr. Frankenstein is considering a new plan I've worked up. We're most optimistic about it. You know, when I hear you casually mention communicating with Dr. Frankenstein, communicating with a dead man, <laughs> I don't know quite how to take it. It's not quite so bizarre as you might think. It's fact. But my husband's the one who communicates. I can get through only rarely. I could in this case, because this particular plan has great bearing on our future. It promises that my husband will be out of this bed permanently. When you learn of the incredible capabilities of mine, you will realize how many things fall within it. Like the power it's used to control the one who attacks those girls out there. It can only produce inferior offspring. So a power source has been set up, which at times weakens him. And the others you have seen Guards, they have no bloodstream because they need none. They live on psychic energy. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein and I learned of these things early in our research. <laughs> you keep referring to work with Dr. Frankenstein in the framework of time, how can that possibly be? Good God, man. Didn't, didn't she tell you? I'm almost 200 years old. Hey, we know you stopped your work and everything, and like, we really do appreciate it. All right, girls, now here's what we want you to do. I want you to go down to the woods and find some logs, some straight logs. You get them and you bring them back here. Yeah. Now, we'll examine them before we get down to the beach. Oh, and I want a few of you to start weaving some rope. Use the kind that supports the roof of that hut. That should be good enough, don't you think? Yeah. See, none of us have ever made a raft before. Oh, come on, Kurt. I wouldn't worry about that. This raft is going to be seaworthy and good and strong like any ship. <laughs> that point. Part of it's holding, but the oscillator is slow. Mm -hmm. It's steady at 1,800 volts. Uh, it should peak at about 40,000. 
If those carriers are pretty close together, they could be acting as a transformer. Uh, yes, of course. Of course they could be. <coughs> what is it? Uh, just the usual. Uh, I'm afraid continual life has its continual uh, ups and downs. <laughs> His pulse has weakened considerably. He'll have to go back into trance for at least three hours. Couldn't that be dangerous with the voltage unsteady? Uh, only the peak is fluctuating. Indeed, I need them quite badly. There's something else in all this. Something much more important than anything you've seen so far. Dr. Frankenstein sends power from the other realm. Power? One that can accomplish great things. Dr. Frankenstein, before he died, perfected a very startling theory which utilizes an intermediary, a human brain, which is the connecting link for transmission. The brain is kept alive by low voltage? It stays on an expanded threshold, a super nourished state. How can any of us forget the great contribution he made by creating a human life, even though it was a monster? Yes, what, uh, whatever happened to that uh, the, creation? In the years, throughout the years, the, the mind of the monster never developed, though his strength never ceased. The strength paralleled his great urge to destroy. We had to chain him to the reef underwater beneath the grotto. like to do? Grab all the air I can and dive under the rock. <laughs> to where? The ocean. The water's salty. That's where it's from. Oh, I wish I had some scuba gear. When we pass this spot, we keep right on going. Yeah? Why's that? I can't say. It's... I can't say. <laughs> you know, that's what I like about you. You never keep any secrets. Looks like a form down there. A human. Wow, it goes my imagination. O oh, disciple of the golden thread, the power ye seek shall be given. It shall be given. The power. The power! The power! The power! Looks like he can't move a muscle. Hey, Jason. 
Jason, listen to me. Come on, Jason. Open your eyes. We want to help you, but you got to help us. Come on, Jason. It was better before. Necessary to eavesdrop. Oh, uh, you were uh, you surprised us? I would expect I had. Well, That'll do. We uh, were just looking for Doc. We thought maybe you. Uh, follow me. and uh, feels bad, looks bad. Did you uh, find anything to help him with? To what? Jason, to help him. Oh. If this were dropped, we'd lose much more than you could imagine. I'm sorry. Must your friends be here at this particular time? I think they're taking advantage. Yes, yes, you're right. Oh, look, Mark. It'd be better if you wait outside. What I mean is, wait until tomorrow. We're in the middle here of something very important. Other things are important, too. Look, I'm talking about life. Do you hear me? Life! We may be on the verge of discovering the very factor that animates it. Have you any idea what that means? <sighs> no, you wouldn't. You'd never understand. Oh, I wouldn't, huh? Mark. Come back tomorrow, please. Sure. the daughter of a strong woman, the parallel link to pure alien. With her blood available, I don't know why you didn't do this a long time ago. Well, transfusing animal blood with that of a human never seemed promising in light of my husband's changes. The possibility was never really considered. Go get the animals. Hello. Let's take a rest, spread out. What's the matter? Something wrong? Leona's missing. Oh. We found the tracks, and one set go deep into the ground. Oh. Well, what's... I'm sorry, Mira. Well, let's just follow the tracks. Well, sure. Well, 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 wait a minute. We can help. The three of us... There's can... nothing that can be done. Not now. Two sets of tracks means he won't weaken the way he does when he's alone. That happens when they want one of us for an experiment. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Wait. I'll tell you what we'll do. Tonight, when it gets dark, We'll go back there together, all of us, okay? Oh. 
This kind of thing happen very often? <laughs> Sometimes. Well, you gotta set up some kind of protection. You know, like, like deep pits in the ground. Covered with grass. Yes. <sighs> Come on, maybe we'll be able to bring her back. We won't. There. Now you've been adopted into the tribe. <laughs> he was a long time ago. Adopted. I'm going to miss him. He's going to miss you. He's going to miss you very much. embalming powder. Twice an hour, she said, until the autopsy. Embalming powder. Yeah. Uh, yes. All right. Thank you, mate. Make room for the boil. <laughs> I don't know how many more of these they want, but I'm not going to chase any more like I did this one. No, <laughs> laddie. You just saw it because this is a bummer. You want them for Sunday dinner. <laughs> we could have saved her. How's the pulse? Strong. Let's increase the voltage. No, no, no. I think it's high enough. What do you think? No, no more. No more animals will be needed. I'll let you know if there's a change. Take this girl's body out. Sides are fluttering. Break up the secondary coil. slowly. Good, good. Is it at 18? 22, 21, 20, 19. Okay, full power, all of it.
That's enough. Easy now. Relax. Try some water. There. How do you feel? Strong. Very much so. Good. We've done it. I think we've really done it. <laughs> done what? We found a blood supply that'll hold. If it sustains the way I think it will, it'll be permanent. Well, you've never balanced as quickly as this. What, what may I ask that you transfuse? We funnel fresh hemohitis by one quarter pint for every full one received from one of your alien girls. Animal blood? Are you saying that you gave me animal blood? With a slow entry rate, the body itself homogenizes the two types. Whose, whose idea was this? Well, mine. Well, I, I thought that after... You thought? If you had really thought you would have looked in my, in my journals and, and found out that we had tried this concept before you were born, and it, it almost ended me. We'll drain it immediately. Yes, I'll, I'll need uh, type A. That means the captain, uh, Jason. Now you'll have to start the transfusion slowly. Don't rush it, but gradually pick up time as you progress. The twelve lines, the golden thread. Ye shall have its power. Its power. Its power. Its power. I know where the four winds blow and the groove always goes. <laughs> but when the ship they no place to go.
couldn't see in the lab. I heard him talking, and they got Jason there all right. They're taking his blood. Oh. Down! That's the fourth one I've seen. Yeah, don't they cut down on a night shift? Cut down is right, and I'm going to do the cutting. Come again? Machine guns. Remember what you said? The only way you can handle these guys is with machine guns. Yeah, cut it right down the middle. Got a couple on you? Uh, she wouldn't have mentioned it. There wasn't at least one of them around here somewhere. Now my guess is one in that house. You know what a machine gun looks like? Um, I think so. Oh, you know, they're about this long. You know, they, they shoot right. bullets. Come on. image of my wife, of my dear, my poor Lenore. You're the, you're the absolute image of her. She was killed seven, 17 years ago when the ship hit the reef and you were cushioned in my arms. Me? Cushioned in my arms and you were three, only three. You remember me. who sang to you i sang to you who told you the story of the seas of the continents of the world the story of noah don't you remember think child don't you yes. no man uh, please don't no. do that no don't do it take some of mine more of mine take what? mine
get him by the wall. To the side. Hurry up. All right, everybody. Let's get ourselves relaxed and friendly, and we'll have no problems. Doc, they're going to crash that door in any minute. Get over here with us. I think you've lost your mind. Better stop this nonsense before you ruin everything. Oh, I've lost my mind. You know, Doc, I always knew you were a comic. You know, check out the old man. If he doesn't have blood, he'll die. Well, whose blood would you like? Would you like Dino's? Oh, how about mine? This man worked with Dr. Frankenstein. He's the link that can... Look, we'll take just one pint from each of them. He's a great man. Save him for science. You may not know it, Doc, but that's exactly what I'm trying to do for you. That door's gonna go! What chance do you really think you have? Right, against him? I cut five of them to pieces and I'm just waiting for the rest. And for what it's worth, we bullet your outside door. And those guys are too dumb to come in the window. Look, Mark, you're doing what I'd expect you to, and I know you mean well. But this is something out of your experience. If you had any idea of what the scientific world is after, what they're really pursuing, you'd see the mistake in your thinking. Be careful! Don't bump it! Mark, its value is more than you can imagine. Look, what do you think? Maybe it's the brain we should destroy. a long time. Now you owe something to that friendship. Oh, Doc, you were yourself. You wouldn't be asking me to do anything different. Right? They've been feeding you dope ever since you got here. You're psyched out, Doc, and you don't know it. Please, I'm begging you, don't do this. 
Madam, I'm doing nothing. And I might add, so are you and your husband. I'll release your friend. Feel dark. Like I'm asleep. <laughs> We've lost far too much time. I'll get the girl ready for the transfusion. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't promise anything about that. You certainly implied it. You indicated that if my husband would cooperate, wait, you'd think. Wait a minute, wait, wait. I'm the correct blood type. I'll donate two pies. Right.
as the situations were developing. You see, at first I thought we were in the hands of people that would understand and give us some help. It's hard to believe with all that sophisticated equipment that they wouldn't try some kind of radio contact. Yeah, see, it became obvious that everything about them was out of step. And you must realize that well, we had no alternative except to keep our heads and look for every opportunity. Yeah, to and you didn't pull that one off very well either. I know. But Colonel, what I'd like to know is, who has jurisdiction over something like this? Nobody. It's a friendly island. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, when you say that a man is being held prisoner, and he might be an American, now, if you're mistaken in that, that could, that could bring about some kind of embarrassment. Oh, there's no mistake. I only wish there was. I'll tell you very frankly, if I didn't know I was hearing this from the horse's mouth, I checked my communications for a big hole somewhere. You're just going to have to see it for yourself. See it for myself? Mm -hmm. Colonel, I'm very sorry, but I realize that it just sounds like it's a... Uh... Paperback. Huh? Well... Yeah. I cannot brush off the reality of that raft that you were on. Those logs are tangible. Obviously, rooted to the ground. And the ground is there, just like I told you. And if it hadn't been for those logs, we wouldn't gotten any place. And believe me, that's something I'm very thankful about. So much has happened, really, that the mind can't catalog it. But the one thing on top is we've got to get back there, and without losing any more time. 
Get an okay from Manila this afternoon. Those huts are gone. They, they were right there. Come on. Melvin? I don't believe it. Well? The house, the, the laboratory, they, they've completely disappeared. Disappeared? was there, but it's not there anymore. Right. Well, we might as well wrap this up as quickly as possible. Oh, wait a minute. You're not going to leave us. Just walk away from it? Just walk away. It's clear you hallucinated the whole thing. Hallucinated?
If you're a woman, what you're about to see could save your life. Once a month, just once a month, while you're taking a shower and you have a few moments, before you dry or spray or do any of those little things to pamper yourself, do something to take care of yourself. Examine your breasts. That's where it begins. It's a nothing examination, really. It's uncomplicated, it doesn't hurt, and it only takes about two minutes. If you don't know how, ask your doctor to show you. Or ask us, the American Cancer Society. We'll send you a simple little leaflet that shows you. Consider all the years ahead of you. Two minutes of your life, once a month, is very cheap insurance, don't you think? Don't be afraid. It's what you don't know that can hurt you. Please call. <laughs>